Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aries. Aries, this is your weekly general reading from the 25th through the 31st of March, 2019. I am using the Psychic Tarot deck, and we have your sign already popping out here with this deck with authority, so very nice. I'm also using the Madame Andorra, and I will be doing your tarot reading with the Druid Craft Tarot, and I will be pulling for you, Aries, at the end of the reading, a Power Thought card as well. So give me just a moment, Aries, to get all of your cards laid out, and keep in mind uh, I have four dogs, and that's their bed right there, so you... If you hear Omegan noise, please just bear with me, you guys. Those are my babies. All right. And Aries, as always, I do daily and monthly readings. If you would like to go check those out, that would be awesome. And I just want to thank all of you so much for your views and blessing me. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Spirit. Right. We're ready, Aries. We are ready. All right, situation of the week, Eight of Pentacles, working very hard. The Chariot crossing you. Nine of Pentacles in your foundation. Beautiful. Recent past, we have the Prince of Cups. Crowning you is the Four of Pentacles. Your new circumstance. <laughs> your energy, King of Wands. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck. Overall energy, the Princess of Pentacles. I love it. All right. Let's go ahead and let's get started, Aries. As I mentioned earlier, we have authority coming out here. This is your energy. Um, this is all about authority, asserting yourself. Uh, I feel like for many of you, you're starting a new project, a new job. You're working very hard at something that you're skilled at. Uh, this is a very bold and powerful energy, and this is your energy. Uh, so I just feel like there's going to be a lot of asserting yourself this week, um, throwing yourself into your work, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, we have the Chimera coming out here. Imagination clouds your judgment. Now, I feel like with this coming out, there could be a situation, a person this week that maybe comes in and is like, Aries, I, I want, uh, you know, I want you to do this or... I think we should do things this way. Uh, I just feel like it's very important to listen to what others uh, may have to bring to the table with you. Um, I'm not saying that what you have in mind might be off or it could be clouding your judgment. I feel like this is going to be a week of teamwork and team playing where, you know, you might be a boss in a situation or you may have the authority um, but I feel like maybe some people may be coming around you and could be um, giving you different possibilities or options this week. And I just feel like it's very important to keep an open mind with that. Now, we have the Princess of Pentacles coming in here as your overall energy. Uh, I love this energy. This is the energy of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is all about having a practical approach, being very realistic. This is about having concent concentrated effort as well and being very focused and uh, prog progressing from that as well. New projects are on the horizon as well, you guys. I feel like with this coming out here, this could be news and messages coming in about your money, your finances, uh, seeds that you have planted. You're starting to see them grow and things are coming to uh, fruition. You know, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're starting to see them grow. Um, Things I feel like that you have planted, manifested, 
you are starting to see the fruits of your labor is what I'm trying to say there, you guys. Now, you here we go again. This is the situation of the week, Aries. Very strong energy coming in here with the Eight of Pentacles. You guys are working very, very hard. You're, you're very diligent at what you're doing. You're very disciplined. You're knowledgeable in whatever it is that you're skilled at. This is mastering something. So, again, you guys are asserting yourselves this week. You're making use of what your talent is. And this is going to benefit you very, very, very well. Now, what's crossing you is the chariot. And this is the energy of cancer. Um, I love the chariot card. This is, like, this is about opposing factors that are coming together and you grab a hold of the reins. And you're able to do that because you are... You do have that authority within yourself. You have that power, that control. Um, this is success and victory. This is all about knowing where you are going. Now, you know, in the beginning of the week, this could, you know, this feeling, this emotion, uh, just for a blink of a second, you could be feeling that this could be a challenge. And I feel like whatever project you're working on, uh, what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You may be working so hard you feel like there's not an end in sight, Aries. Trust me, there is. Uh, you do have victory and success coming through here. Now, you might have that for, like I said, a second where you feel like, oh, it's never going to end, but it's coming. And this is fast moving. It is coming. And for some of you, it could be happening very quickly as well. But overall, this is a very positive, successful energy for you. What's driving you in your foundation, Aries, is the Nine of Pentacles. I love it. This is all about having that feeling of accomplishment, uh, being very self-reliant, independence. This is what's driving you. She's enjoying the fruits of her labor. She works very hard for what she has. Um, I just, I love this card. And it, like I said again, you guys are, if you're not already seeing uh, these seeds, of your manifestations coming back to you, you will be by the end of the week, Aries. In your recent past, we have the Prince of Cups coming up here. This is an energy of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, the Prince of Cups is an energy of emotional sensitivity, uh, possibly being a bit temperamental. Uh, somebody could have offered you a uh, a blessing of some type this cup is an opportunity uh, it could have been romantic it could have been in the form of a job or uh, a job related opportunity I feel like you took this and I really do feel like this goes along with your work uh, this could have been a gift from the universe uh, Aries and I do feel like you took it you secured it and this is what you're working on um, just keep in mind, like I said, with this sensitivity, I, I feel like you're working with others and it's important to be a role model in, in asserting your authority and your power, maybe being a boss uh, or being over others. Make sure that there is uh, teamwork involved here, okay, and cooperation with everyone. Now, the Four of Pentacles is coming up, which is crowning you. Uh, a lot of times, this can represent... Uh, greediness or like the miser card and i'm not getting this in your reading you are very practical in the way that you are thinking and the way you are going about things and you have a four here and a four here this represents structure stability uh, a business or a job things that are built on a strong and firm foundation and i feel like that's what's going on here i feel like you're being very uh you're making sure that all of whatever it is that you're working on is, uh, you're using your authority here to make sure that whatever it is that you're building up is going to support you uh, further on down the road, uh, possibly the rest of your life. You're asserting that. You are making sure that your finances are built up. You have that stability. So, I, I, and that's what you're thinking about. That's what you're, you know, what's crowning you, Aries, and I just love it. You know, you guys are thinking about, not just now, but you're thinking about the future, okay? Now, we do have your energy coming up here, and this is you at the end of the week. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. I love the King of Wands. Powerful, bold, inspiring. You're a role model for others. 
and this fits so well with you know your energy of authority the emperor coming out here you uh, asserting yourself but also being compassionate to those that you work with and, and being a team player you guys are building something up you people come to you for advice uh, whatever you set off to do you get it done Aries like I said and people love to be around you you're very you know you have a lot of passion and desire within you and it just I mean I feel like somebody that you've never met before could see you across the room you're gonna be glowing okay that's that's what you're putting off here and I, ju I just love it I love this energy all right, I'm going to pull a Power Thought card for you this week. I love these. These are very uh, positive affirmations. And this one is sticking out. So we're going to pull it. All right. I let go of all expectations. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn love it you guys and I, I'm telling you you do have people I feel like around you that have a lot of respect for you um, you have really good things coming you're working very hard this week Aries uh, just beautiful you guys please leave me a comment let me know how this resonates with you Aries and I send you all my love wishes and blessings and I will see you next time bye bye